In this video I'm going to build I think my favorite bench I've ever made. Um, it matches the bed that uh, that I made to go along with. I made it to go along with the bed. But uh, anyway, let's get started. So uh, first of all I'm breaking down my lumber here. I bought uh, eight quarter walnut for this project and all that, that stack of walnut at the beginning was, was for the bed and for this uh, this bench. I have another video for the uh, just for the bed. If, uh, if you want to check it out, I'll have a link to link at the end and also a link in the description to uh, to that video. So uh, right now these are these are the parts for the uh, the leg assemblies. I'm cutting those down. I think I made them uh, one and three eighths by one and three eighths. The whole base is the same same width. And there I clamped those four together um, and drew my lines across there so I'd have them all in the exact same spot so I'd, I could line this up exactly the same on all four of them. And this whole this whole bench we're going to put together with dowels. And uh, I'm going to use this dowel jig to, to put the whole thing together and uh, came out really, really nice. So uh, those holes across the top there, that's where the spindles are going to go in and then the legs are going to going to attach to this, the ends. So uh, now I'm putting putting holes in the ends for the, the legs to hook up to. And uh, I've got two of them stacked there together just, uh, just to make it easier to clamp so it has a little more to clamp to. I'm only drilling into the bottom one and then I'm flipping them around and, and drilling into the other one. So I've got my three holes in the top. I'm putting holes in each end, and uh, and now I'm putting holes on the sides for the uh, the stringers. Uh, so these are the legs. Well, I say I'm putting holes in the sides for the stringers right now. I'm putting holes in the sides to attach to that uh, uh, to the attach to the middle assembly. You'll see here in a minute how that all goes together. You've got to get all your holes pre-drilled before you uh, before you start assembling. So, uh, and all and this part is pretty self-explanatory, other than you've you've got to pay attention to which way you have uh, your piece facing because this jig is uh, is kind of a one-trick pony. It's it's awesome for what it does, and uh, it's you know it automatically centers your hole. So the hole is always centered side to side but it's not necessarily centered up and down so you've got to pay attention to which way you have everything facing and make sure you have it facing the correct direction um, so anyway you've got to get all your holes in before you uh, before you start assembly and that's what I'm doing here I'm uh, uh, putting holes in my uh, leg assemblies for the stringers they're gonna they're gonna come in there's gonna be three of them two across the top and one across the bottom and uh, right here I almost make a mistake I uh, I had that dude facing the wrong way, and uh, was getting ready to drill that hole when I realized I had it facing the wrong way. So uh, uh, I had to you know re remark my my line there and uh, get my hole in the right place. Now we're just gonna cut up some dowels. This uh, I just use oak dowels. I bought the I buy them at Lowe's. And uh, after I get them cut up, I like to, to especially on a big project like this, I like to sand the ends of them off a little bit. Um, just to make them go together well. So there it is before it's sanded. And I just put a little soft, I just soften the edge a little bit so it so it all goes together easily. And when you've got this much to go together, you know, anything you can do to make it easier is definitely worth doing. So we're going to get the middle part of the leg assembly put together. We're going to put uh, put the spindles together first and like I was saying before and you can see on the top of there how those those holes are centered side to side but they're not centered top to bottom and uh, you just got to pay attention to which way they you have them facing so uh, you know so everything is separated correctly And I'm not real picky about how I'm getting the glue on there because see that, that that's what I'm talking about. It's centered it's on the side to side, but it's not centered top and bottom. I'm not being real picky about how I'm getting my glue in there because uh, first of all, there's there's three of them, and then uh, they're going to have the legs attached to the, to each side of this, 
um, really holding it all together so I put plenty of glue on there but uh, but wasn't too worried about how I got spread out one of my legs I actually think it's this one I'm working on now got a little twisted somehow during the glue up and uh, I I'm not sure how that happened I guess I just wasn't paying close enough attention whenever I was clamping it together but uh, it did end up with a slight twist to it and I noticed that while I'm sanding it and you'll see it. Now see here is the those are the three holes that the stringers are going to come into. Um, but anyway, um, I notice it while I'm while I'm sanding it, but uh, once I got it assembled, uh, it didn't go away, but uh, I don't notice it, you know, sitting it's it's this bench is for our own house and it's in our bedroom and I've I've never noticed it since since then. But uh, it was very obvious uh, here in a minute while I'm sanding, you'll, you'll see it rocking pretty bad. So now I'm just getting the legs put on each each side of this assembly, and that's really going to hold it all together well. So even though this thing is just put together with dowels, I mean that that's rock solid. That's that's never going to come apart. I'm just getting some of the glue squeeze out while it's still wet there. And uh, now this is the top. I, I glued two boards together. I didn't didn't video that. Just just two boards being glued together. But uh, uh, I I like to use a belt sander to clean up one my epoxy and also to clean up that glue joint. And uh, you know I I find it's a lot more aggressive when I sand across the grain like that. But that does scratch up my board. So I've got to make a final pass like you saw me there at the end. Uh, sanding with the grain. Now here, this is the leg I was talking about. Watch how that sucker rocks. Um, you can see the, the bottom right corner there, how bad it's sticking up. But uh, once I got it together, it, I'm not saying it went away, but you, you don't notice it. But boy, I sure noticed it there. It's very obvious. This is the other leg. It doesn't have any rock to it at all. And here I'm just I'm just sanding all the joints and getting rid of uh, of all my glue squeeze out, getting everything uh, sanded down flush. And they were just a little bigger than I wanted to. I wanted them, so I just ran through the the uh, table saw there and got them all exactly the same size. And uh, and now I'm getting my tabletop to the to the right dimensions. I put one side to the joiner just to make sure it was straight after glue up and then ran the other side through the table soft to get uh, get the right width. And then I'll use a track saw to cut, uh, cut the two ends. And after I get the first end squared up, I'll measure from each corner uh, and then use a, use a square once again just to make sure I'm good. And uh, these are the three stretchers, stringers, whatever you want to call them. Um, and the top two, I'm going to have uh, two braces running across between them also in the middle, which is what I'm drilling for right there. And I just, I think I just measured in thirds and, and spread those two out. And you'll see all that come together here in just a minute. And these are those two braces. They're going to run between those two. Entire assembly put together with dowels. The whole the whole base. That little jig. I think it's uh, uh, fifty-five or sixty dollars, something like that. I bought it about ten years ago, and. Uh, I don't use it every day, but uh, but I've used it quite a bit, especially over the last 10 years, and it's just as good today as it was when I bought it. The only only downside to it now, it it comes with uh, uh, different inserts in it. You can use uh, you know all kinds of different size dowels in there, unless you lose your inserts, which I have lost over the last 10 years. I think the only ones I have are the ones that are in it, which are 3 8 and that's mainly what I've what I've used it for anyway. But uh, yeah, that's all I can use it for now because I've, I've lost the inserts for the other sizes over the years. And you can kind of see that base coming together right here. And 
Yeah, to me, it's especially the the finished product is a is a really nice looking bench, but it's actually a very very simple build that anybody could do in their garage. Um, came together really easily. It's 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 easy joinery if you have that jig, or you know something similar to it. Now on the bottom side of my of my top, I'm going to put uh, just a small chamfer. And that just gives it a nice shadow line between it and the base, and you'll and you'll see that when it all comes together. Um, the nice thing about a chamfer bit, you can have the one bit, and depending on how much of it you have sticking out of your router, is you know how big of a chamfer you're putting on on the piece you're you're chamfering. <laughs> so I just had it sticking out a little bit there, and just put a slight just put a slight chamfer on the bottom of that top. And now here I'm using a large roundover and uh, uh, given these really softening the edges of this whole thing and uh, it gives it a really nice look and a lot of sanding um, I couldn't really do any sanding I mean I could have done a little bit but couldn't really do much sanding uh, in pieces I had to wait until it was all together uh, because I had the sand after I did that large round over and I didn't want to do the large, large round over until I had it all put together um, so that the transitions between you know, one part to another um, it blends you know they, they go together it just wouldn't wouldn't look look the same if uh, if you rounded it before you put it together we're using some uh, Rubio Monocoat to uh, to finish this and uh, I believe we put ended up putting two two or three coats on it now here I'm just using a biscuit joiner to put slots in here and uh, I'll use those slots to uh, to put my tabletop clips and attach my my base to my to my top And that's it, guys. That's that's the build. It's uh, it's a like I said, it's a simple build, and I, I think it came out really nice. Um, if you guys like this video, it would help us out greatly if you hit the like button, and uh, would love a new subscriber. Uh, we I try and put out videos on a regular basis. We build furniture every day in my shop. Um, my wife and I have a small store where we sell furniture, home decor. The stuff that we build and then a bunch of stuff that we order so anyway uh, like and subscribe to our channel would be outstanding thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments that'd be great if you put them in the comment section and, uh, thanks for watching